Hello student, my name is Bhagyadeep Kalal from LG Institute of Engineering and Technology. Welcome to the, my online lecture series of refrigeration and air conditioning subject. Okay, so today I will discuss part number three that is a psychometric process. So in these processes, today I discuss only three, two process that is the sensible heating, sensible cooling and another theory is a bypass factor. Okay, so let's start to discuss the various types of process. Okay, so first of all, uh, how many types of psychometric process today I will explain here. In the design and analysis of air conditioning plant, designing and analysis of air conditioning plant, first we should know the which type of process is required for the cooling or heating. The fundamental requirement to identify various processes being performed on the air. So, just basically psychometric process is nothing but, so if it is uh, space, or we can say any room. So, which type of air is required? Cooling, heating, or cooling or humidification, dehumidified air, or etc. Which type of air we required? So, that's why first we analysis of uh, air uh, psychometric process or air processes. So, first is a sensible heating. Se second is a sensible cooling, humidification and dehumidification process. Cooling and adiabatic humidification process, cooling and humidification by water injection process, uh, heating and humidification, humidification by steam injection, and adiabatic chemical dehumidification and adiabatic mixing of air stills. These all are the process. These all are the psychometric process. According to these processes, we adopt one of the process for our uh, required condition like sensible heating, sensible cooling. Uh, humidification, dehumidification, etc. Uh, heating and humidification, heating and dehumidification, etc. The process we can adopt in our air conditioning system. So first, we discuss today sensible heating. Sensible heating is nothing but heating of air without any change of its specific humidity and increased travel temperature is known as a sensible heating. Just remember what is the meaning of sensible heating? That means it increase the drivable temperature without changing its specific humidity. That means W1 is equal to W2. Suppose we take a process 1 to 2. Suppose we take a process 1 to 2. That means this 1 to 2 drivable temperature dpt should be increases and at W1, W2 is a constant. That means spe specific humidity should be constant and tribal temperature increases. That means we uh, feel like a heating air or heat heating air without uh, any spe changing specific humidity. Okay. So observation features of sensible heating process. In this process, tribal temperature increases. First one, the what is the outcomes if sensible heating is done in the system? First, drivable temperature increases. That means, simply we can say the temperature of air increases. Relative humidity decreases. Relative humidity decreases. Enthalpy increases. The, uh, because temperature increases, enthalpy obviously enthalpy increases. Weightable temperature increases. Specific volume increases. The humidity ratio, vapor pressure, and dew point remains constant remains constant so how to remember this all the parameters when sensible heating process are done so just keep in mind only just psychometric chart if you know the psychometric chart you can explain all the things all the parameters okay so how to explain these parameters just heat so let me first explain the heat observed by air that is a qs is equal to mass of air into h2 minus h1 that is a change in enthalpy how to do this sensibility so if we put the cooling heating coil here we put heating coil or heater etc then this air atmospheric air comes in contact this coil heat absorbed from this coil to air and after then we obtain heating or warm air without changing its specific humidity is known as a is known as a sensible heating process again i repeat this is the power battery or we can say uh, like a, a heating roll okay this one point is uh, air from outside and it's contact with this heater battery or we can say heater or we can say heating coil. So from this heating coil, heat is taken from this heater 
and we obtain 0.28 higher temperature that means dbt increases okay without changing its w or special quantity so in psychometric chart this is showing these are one to two process because temperature drybulb temperature increases the temperature increase there is a towards right hand side suppose we can say atmospheric temperature or outside temperature is a 30 degree and we do sensible heating process so temperature at out in, inside the t2 is equals to 40 degree at w1 is constant so we already know that where is w specific humidity on psychometric chart this is a parallel line okay this is our w value there is a w1 is equals to w2 on this line on this y axis line uh, w1 or w2 is written that's why um, w1 or w2 is equal so at point number one and point number two only temperature is increases so how to remember this all the parameters from the chart if we know the process how to remember this all the parameters so start at point one relative humidity decrease how relative humidity decrease this is our inlet condition relative humidity is a curvature or in parallel to the this follow the saturation curve and relative humidity at point number two so and this is increasing order towards northwest quarter but process 1 to 2 is a downward uh, this direction that's why relative humidity decreases suppose here we live at one point relative humidity is 15 50 percent for example and here we obtain relative humidity 30 percent this is that's why relative humidity decreases in the sensible heating and enthalpy increases now at point 2 enthalpy h2 at point 1 enthalpy h1 and enthalpy increasing in this direction that's why enthalpy increases now weight ball temperature is increases and well weight ball, suppose enthalpy increases but obviously weight ball temperature also increases because the both the lines enthalpy lines and weight ball temp uh, weight ball temperature line are inclined and parallel to each other that's why if enthalpy increases weight ball temperature increases or vice versa if weight ball temperature increases enthalpy is also increases next is specific volume specific volume is also uh, inclined line on the on the chart this is the at point number two this is our inclined line this is our point number one here specific volume small b and here is small b2 okay this value is should be greater than v1 that's why v1 at point number one small b1 is less than small b2 or if enthalpy increases this both the parameters always increases because all these three lines are inclined line that's why this is by one get one free types of offer okay next is uh, humidity ratio okay humidity ratio is uh, humidity ratio is of parallel lines okay horizontal lines and parallel to say parallel to dew point and vapor pressure that's why these three parameters are always constant because humidity does not change if humidity does not change vapor pressure pv never be changed and dew point temperature dpt never be because these three terms parallel to each other okay that's why this three parameter never be changed in the sensible heating okay so remember this formula heat absorbed by air qs equals to h2 minus h1 okay next is sensible cooling sensible cooling is cooling of air that means tribal temperature decreases without changing its specific humidity this sensible cooling process is similar like of sensible heating similar like of sensible heating but just opposite in this sensible cooling temperature decreases but w1 and w2 is equals so all the parameters affect sensible cooling parameters affect like tribal temperature decreases tribal temperature decreases and relative humidity relative humidity increases if relative humidity increases as we know this is inclined length enthalpy should be increases enthalpy increases weight ball temperature increases and omega if constant if omega is or we can say w sorry we can say w if w is constant that means dew point temperature constant or and 
P ni partial pressure of vapor is constant. So both these three terms are constant. So if R H we know the R H about R H, so we can also say about the enthalpy and W B T. So this is the, all the parameters. So in sensible cooling, this is our confined space or duct. In here, in between ducts, cool cooling coil are placed. This is our cooling coil, just we like this cooling coil. And this one is condition T1 temperature here, air, it is an outlet temperature which is contact with this cooling coil. From this, the heat that is heat of this air give to this cooling coil. That means the heat is absorbed by this cooling coil. So temperature of this air is decreases so that at point number 2 T2 is less than T1 because of we use this cooling coil. So in psychometric chart how to draw there is a one this is a 1 1.1 temperature or we can say driver temperature one. After cooling coil point moves towards left because temperature decreases because temperature decreases that is a T2 that's why uh, point 2 is located here and why this is a horizontal line why this is horizontal line because at this at point number 1 and point number 2 W is constant W1 is equal to W2 or what is W1 W2 there is a specific humidity or we can say humidity ratio at point number 1 enthalpy is H1 and point number two, enthalpy is H2. So enthalpy decreases. Enthalpy decreases. At point number two, relative humidity is like this. So relative humidity increases. Okay. So we can uh, see all the parameters how to affect the sensibility. Next is observation features. Is the dry temperature increases, relative humidity increases, enthalpy decreases, uh, and uh, weight bulk temperature decreases specific volume decreases and humidity ratio vapor pressure and dew point remains constant and heat absorbed by air or qs heat absorbed by air or qs uh, that, that is a equal to here heat absorbed heat lost by air okay. not absorbed there is a heat loss by air because heat given to the cooling coil heat absorbed by the coil okay yeah, or heat removed by the cooling coil qs equals to ma h1 minus h2 h1 is a higher and h2 is less so this much amount of enthalpy drop and mass of air which is contained in the coil there is a qs that's written uh, remember this formula q is equals to mass of uh, something it written as a small m into h1 minus h2 clear Heat rejected, so heat rejected or heat removed that is the best heat rejected. There is a Q by analytical method. We can use Q equals to 1.002 TD1 TD2. Where this formula is used when we do not give psychometric charge in the exam, so we use this formula. If psychometric charge is given from psychometric charge, H1 and H2 value can see from the chart and put here in this formula, so we can calculate the Q. Next is a bypass factor of heating. And cooling coil bypass factor in short we can return as a BPF. What is bypass factor? First, let's we explain bypass factor. Suppose in a duct we place a coil in a system, we place a coil like a, this is our coil, it may be a cooling coil or heating coil. So, condition one the air outlet air or outside air comes in contact with this coil okay and after that passing through this coil and we obtain point number two that is td2 and here td1 suppose td1 and td2 and coil temperature is td3 temperature okay what happened here some amount of air suppose we take a 1 kg 1 kg of air is supply on this coil cooling coil or we can say heating coil okay if it is cooling coil the temperature is a less than td2 okay so what happened here some amount of air like x amount x amount of air which is not contact with not contact with this cooling coil 
or we can say directly bypass over the cooling coil so what happened the temperature of that much of amount is td1 okay but amount of air which is in contact with this coil after then mixture after coil so net amount of effect is td2 so this all the things we can see in this next diagram the temperature of air coming out of the apparatus td2 will be less than td3 in case of cooling uh, heating coil and more than td3 in case of coil is uh, cooling okay this is our chart okay this is insulated apparatus this is insulated apparatus totally insulated that means heat is not transfer outside so let's understand 1 kg of air that is the temperature td1 which is supplied to the coil this is our coil placed here this is our coil so in this 1 minus x kg of amount 1 minus x kg this much amount is contact with this coil this coil may be a cooling coil or heating coil okay and x amount of x kg of air which is not in contact directly bypass here okay and this remaining 1 minus x kg of air this all are the mixed here and outlet temperature td2 okay so this x kg air this is our main factors okay which is not in contact with this coil okay the bypass factor so bypass factor depends on the first number of fins provided in unit length or that is the pitch of the cooling coil next the number of rows in coil number of rows that is a number of rows provided in the direction of flow okay the velocity of flow the velocity that is what is the velocity here okay for, what is the velocity of here which is in contact now derivation of this bypass factor balancing the enthalpies we get x cpm td1 td1 is the temperature of outside air plus 1 minus x cpm td3 equals to 1 into cpm td2 okay what is this x x the air which is not in contact with the coil what is cpm that is a specific humidity ratio specific humidity which considered in the specific cp of air plus cp of water vapor present in air this is the specific humidity ratio okay plus 1 minus x 1 minus x what this mass of air which is contact in the coil and cpm which is both are the cpm is the same and td3 td3 temperature which is contact with the coil one one is because we assume the 1 kg of mass so total mass is 1 kg just nothing but we apply uh, enthalpy balance that is the h is equals to mc delta t just apply here okay mc delta t no nothing to worry about it cpm this is cpm and td2 this is the temperature of uh, room or condition which is required temperature of okay so cpm is common both side and cancel out so remaining is a x td3 minus td1 td3 minus td2 here written that the term cpn w cpa which is humidity specific humidity heat capacity that is cpm okay just remember this one the term cpa cpa plus w that is specific humidity cpa okay this is for the Uh, mass of water vapor and this is for air so after solving this we obtain this x is equals to td3 minus td2 td3 minus td1 okay x is nothing but x is equals to bypass factor bpf okay so bpf equals to td3 minus td2 divided by td3 minus td1 this is the bypass factor of heating coil now how can this is for how can possible this is for the heating coil just remember if this is our heating coil we assume that this is our heating coil okay temperature is td3 okay. and outside air which contact this is a td1 and this air is a td2 if it is heating coil the maximum temperature coil maximum temperature is for coil and td2 td2 is a temperature which is we required this is always less than td3 okay and this is td1 
मिनिमम टेम्परेचर बिकॉज आउटसाइड एयर वी अवर अवर मेन मोटो इज दैट टी डी वन शुड बी हायर देन इट्स सो दैट्स वाई टी डी वन इज लेस मोर इज टी डी टू एंड मैक्सिमम इज टी डी थ्री ओके सो बाय दिस डिफरेंस वी ऑप्टेन टी डी थ्री माइनस टी डी टू एंड टी डी थ्री माइनस टी डी वन ओके सो वी कैन डिफरेंस सिमिलर लाइक बाईपास फैक्टर फॉर कूलिंग ऑयल इज दिस वन टी डी टू माइनस हाउ टू राइट हाउ टू रिमेम्बर दिस टू फॉर्मुलस जस्ट आई गिव अ बेजिक फंडा ऑफ दिस वन सपोज दिस इज अवर कूलिंग ऑयल ओके दिस इज अवर आउटसाइड एयर टेम्परेचर टी डी outside air temperature t d 1 and after contact t d 2 so if it is cooling coil that means that is sure that t d 1 is a highest temperature and this is t d 3 this is a minimum temperature because if it is a cooling coil the te minimum temperature of this cooling coil cooling coil okay so t d 3 is less than t d 2 is less than t d 1 so Difference T D two minus T D three because T D three is less and T D three two values more. That's why difference larger minus lower value. So return T D two minus T D three. Okay, and T D three T D one minus T D two because of T D one is more than T D three. That's why we can write like this. Okay, so just for remember, I give just hint or suggestion about this one. So you can remember in your method. Okay.